Hey everybody, my name's Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul for you. And it's one of my favorite hauls to do because it is from, bum ba da bum, Thread Up. Now I love Thread Up. I talk about this all the time. I get the best stuff from Thread Up. And the reason I love Thread Up so much is because it's good for our environment and it also gives clothing a second life, which is something I'm really passionate about. I always make sure that everything I wear finds a new home and a second life beyond me. And that's because I believe in extending the life of the garments I purchase. One of the things Thread Up has done now that's now become like one of my favorite parts of shopping their site is they have this like environmental impact like square on the bottom right. You can kind of see it pop up next to me right now. Basically, it shows you exactly what purchasing this item secondhand versus purchasing it brand new does for the environment. And I think it is so cool to see the tangible impact of your purchase as you're shopping. It definitely made me think a lot about how I should purchase more things secondhand. And it just is a really cool experience. In fact, I would just go to their site to check that out because I think it is something that I've never seen before and I was extremely fascinated with. So since we are in this vibe where everyone is going back to school, back to work, back into the real world, we need to maybe up our clothing game a little bit. I don't know about you, but definitely for me, I lived pretty much in sweatpants and dirty t-shirts. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, all my shirts got stains, all my pants got holes because I've just been, living and reveling in comfort, which isn't bad for a little while, but it's almost like a bad breakup. We need to find our groove again. And recently, I definitely have been finding my groove again. And I find, guess what? I'm happier. I'm happier when I take time to get ready and go and explore my world. Now, I know there's still a lot of concerns with, you know, what's going on in the world and where we'll be. But I think regardless of whether you're staying home or choosing to go out, I think there is a power in getting ready and prepared for the day. So I wanted to help you guys with some fun looks for fall or pre-fall, you know, as we get into the cooler temperatures and a little bit more like moodier vibes. A little caveat here, everything clothing wise I'm wearing is from Thread Up, including the shoes. I did add some of my own little accessories cause you know, I like to zhuzh things up a little bit. Now, before we get into this haul, I want you to know that you can get 30% off your first Thread Up order by using the code GLITTER. And with that, let's jump into what I got because I wanna show you how good I did. Like I did really good on this haul. So this outfit that we're starting out with is really a bargain. In fact, the whole outfit costs about what you would normally pay for one item. So first we have this fun mirrored floral skirt, a little bit shorter because she's ready for attention boys or girls or gender non-conforming people. And it is a skirt from Lane Bryant that I got on ThreadUp for $8.99. And this baby would have retailed probably somewhere between $60 and $70. So a definite score. The next items is new with tags, baby. It's from a brand called Laurelette, which I think is an Avenue sub brand. I got it for $16.99 and it would have retailed for about 40. I love it. It's lacy and girly and it's gonna look so cute with that skirt for a night out, like so cute. Last but definitely not least are these amazing Sam Edelman pony hair shoes with this fun scallop detail. Now I got these for $41.99 and they would have retailed for about 130. Now, if you are like me and have big old feet, you know that Sam Edelman is like got your back. Like I scour for these in like regular price. So to find them secondhand was amazing. And look at this. There's like hardly any wear on them. So they're virtually brand new. Like the person who owned these previously, maybe more of them, like one or two times. But otherwise they're in really great shape. So if you didn't know it, whoa, <laughs> you can get size 12 shoes on thread up. Like I didn't know that until I took the initiative this time. And I'm like, wait, just wait till you see the other shoes. You're gonna be like, now nah, I'm gonna have a lot of competition. That's what I've done here. I've given, I've given myself competition. <sighs> It's okay, it's for the greater good. So look number two is a little bit more luxe, a little bit more professional, but definitely with like a little sass, right? We wanna, we still wanna keep it funky even if we're working in an office. So let's start with the blouse. This blouse is from Stories by Kelly Osborne, and I got it for $32.99 and it would have retailed at around 90. It's got some fun shoulder pads, some cool details, a little bit of a puff sleeve, and it's just cool. Like. 
it looks funky, it makes a statement, but it's definitely still appropriate for the office. And I just think it is the coolest. I paired that shirt with a skirt from Lane Bryant that I got for $18.99 and it would have retailed for about 70. It's got a nice stretch to it, so it's gonna be very comfortable for all day wear. It's still got the tags attached, what? And it's just an everyday purpose skirt. I also like the way the pockets are situated because I have wide hips and the way the pockets are structured are not gonna pull at those hips. So this to me is like, an amazing staple for my wardrobe that I found at a great price and I did good for my environment in the process. Last, but again, definitely not least, are these shoes from Vince Camuto. Like, oh my goodness, who is she? Who is she? These are a raspberry heel with zippers. I got these for $56.99, but they would have retailed at least $130, maybe more, and they are comfortable, they are cute, and they have never been worn never worn. There's literally no wear on these. So I got a brand new pair of shoes from a high-end brand for 56 bucks in Bigfoot sizes. Miracles happen, people. Miracles happen. In fact, Loki, like, ThreadUp's got some shoe game. He's got some shoe game that I did not know existed. I'm gonna keep saying this over and over because I'm genuinely shocked. I expected these to come through like rat and tambles and be like, oh, I can't use them. But no, they're amazing. I'm not going to kiss that. That's disgusting. But I want to. Okay, so now we're on to outfit three, which I think of as like a low-key first date look. So we start off with this lathe dress. Girl, she is fabulous. She has a stunning purple color and a nice jewel tone. My hair is fighting with me in a jewel tone that like definitely like look. Makes me look a little like romantic and love struck. It's got fun, fun details, spaghetti straps. So like you can be super sexy in something like this, but maybe you don't wanna be. Maybe you wanna be calm and cool. And that is where piece number two comes in. Piece number two is this amazing brown fringe jacket moto thing from Lane Bryant. I got this for $30.99. It would have retailed for around 110 and she's incredible. Do you see this? Ah, oh, I have never been more excited for a piece for thread up. Like it is, oh, we're gonna make so many memories together and it's going to be beautiful. Like I've always wanted a fringe jacket and I've never found one that I really like that fits me well. And guess what? Dreams come true, people. Dreams come true. Now, I've paired this look with the same Sam Edelman shoes because, you know, this is the first date and I gotta let them know that I'm sassy and a little bit wild and that's how I do it. I do it with the shoes, right? Hey! <laughs> oh, now we gotta move on to look four. So look number four is also perfect for the office and definitely like has a little athleisure vibe to it, which I love. We start with this green Michael Kors top with a zip up and a little ruching at the bust line. And she's a polo, she is cute, she is sporty, but she's also a little bit professional. And I love, 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 like dead for this color, so cute. It's honestly one of my favorite colors and very difficult to find in anything. So to have found it in this piece like just makes me so happy. It also has tons of like little ruching details here on the sleeve, which is also a cute little added bonus. This shirt I got for $16.99 and Michael Kors is expensive, yo. It probably would have retailed around $70 originally. So like big savings on this shirt. Now with it, I have this adorable skirt that has, ta-da, the same green down at the bottom. It also has a little sparkle in it, which <laughs> is my trademark. So this skirt is ribbed, it's comfortable. I know that'd be something I could wear all day, but still look fantastic. I love the stripes at the bottom because it gives me a whole bunch of colors I can play with and kind of create different looks with while also having not just another black skirt. Now, this I got for $27.99, and it would have retailed somewhere between $70 and $80, and honestly, I don't get why this skirt it was, would ever have been let go, because I plan on keeping this for a long time, because these are the type of skirts that you can literally wear anywhere, they travel well, they wear well, like I just, I don't know, I just wouldn't get rid of it, I would have kept it. <laughs> it's mine now. To finish this look off, we have a third pair of shoes, baby. These are from J. Renee, again in a size 12, because I have big feet. And I got these for $33.99. 
and these would have retailed at around 90. Again, they are not very worn at all. So I have a pretty much new shoe and they are so cute. I love the little bows and the cool detailing at the bottom. Very fun and perfect for this look, especially if I'm ready to make some money moves. <laughs> cue Cardi B. She's just so much cooler than me. I don't know why I could ever cue her. I feel like I will never be your Cardi B. Guys, this is our last look. I know, I know. I'm sorry that I can't do more for you, but I'm gonna go out with a bang because this is like, I feel like you could wear this anywhere, like depending on like what jacket you threw on. Anyway, let's just get into it. You'll see what I mean. First, we have this V-neck top that sits a little bit wider on the shoulders from Pretty Little Thing. I got this for $14.99. It would have retailed around 40. It's comfortable, it's cute, it's long sleeve, but it's also cropped. And I love this elastic that like keeps it under the boobalas, right? So a top you could wear with so many different things. I wanted to keep this look fairly basic, like just the top and the skirt, you know, because I want to show you like this really could be dressed up and dressed down. Like I could take the hat from one of the previous looks and now I'm ready for a concert or I could take like different shoes. I did do the J Renee shoes with this look again, but you could easily use those Vince Camuto raspberry booties. And then oh, with that hat, it would be like the perfect festival look. So these pieces are a statement, but also very flexible, which is pretty dang cool. Now the skirt with this look I got for $29.99. It's from Catherine Melodrino and it would have retailed for around $90. I mean, that's like a savings of like a third. And this skirt is very flexible. Don't be scared because it's tiger print because this is like the new neutral baby. Like animal prints are neutral. And this sunburst pleat makes it like an elevated wild neutral, which I am just chef's kiss about like, mm. It's so good and so many different fun ways you could wear this. So let yourself play with it, baby. Get something like this and just go wild. <laughs> go wild, it's animal print. I swear I'm predictable sometimes, but that's why you love me. So those are the five looks I got from Thread Up. Aren't they pretty great? Like I'm really happy with this haul. And honestly, I feel like Thread Up is getting better and better. Like I'm finding more and more pieces I love and that makes me happy because it'll mean more and more people will be shopping secondhand and we'll be doing just a little bit more for the environment. Again, if you wanna give ThreadUp a try, you can use the code GLITTER to get 30% off your first order. And I think it's an extra 30% too. So if there's a deal and a deal, honey, that is a steal. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching this haul. If you liked what you watched, go ahead and click that like button if you haven't subscribed, get on that, subscribe. And then also remember notifications because that is the trifecta of love. And I'm worthy of that love and I wanna help you realize that you are too. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace. And that is what you call going with the flow. <laughs>